So you are thinking about moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but you're not quite sure what city is right for you. Well, in this segment, we are going to take a tour of a model home in a neighborhood called Pecan Square in the town of North Lake, Texas. North Lake, Texas, I'm sure you've probably never heard of it. Don't let that scare you. It's, it is a small town, but it is a suburb of Dallas-Fort Worth, not too far, especially from Fort Worth, right off I-35W. Um, still a lot of amenities here in this area and you're also not far from a great town called Denton which has a lot of one-off restaurants and a, a great nightlife um, so not too far from all the great things but you don't have to live in the hustle and bustle of Dallas or Fort Worth. I'm Jennifer Fowler and along with my husband and partner Brandon Fowler we run Fowler Realty Team here in the North Texas area. We have people just like you reaching out to us all the time looking to move to North Texas. If that's you and you're looking to move in nine days or nine months give us a call, choose the text, send us an email. All the information is in the description below. Alright, so I'm going to have my camera turned around like this so y'all can see this beautiful home here in the master plan community of Pecan Square. We're going to go up this sidewalk that I love the way that they have uh, done the concrete here, stamped the concrete and stained it as well. So let's go ahead and open up the front door and take a tour. This house is around 3,000 square feet. It is a one-story home, three-car tandem garage. We've got four bedrooms in this home, three bathrooms, a study, and a media room. This is the front room that we are in. I love already what they've done here. One thing that I really like that makes this house just feel more luxury are the black encased windows and the fact that the front windows don't have a lot of detail on them so it just lets all that light come in and the view is just a lot more clear. This room does have a walk-in closet. Nice touch there with the little window. Okay, so this is a front room and I would say you could use this as a study but this home does have a study and we will get to that soon. But let's look at the next bedroom here. Okay, so we've got another bedroom here. Um, ooh, like the wallpaper. I'm a huge, huge fan of wallpaper. Uh, one thing I do want to note is this is not a twin size bed. The, these are both full size beds. And so you can see there's plenty of room to have the bed in the middle of the room with two nightstands. So good size bedrooms here. Another walk-in closet. This glass door is just to show um, what's inside the closet because it's a model home. So that is not going to be typical. One thing I do want to point out as we walk in, so here is the front door and let's just take a look at that front door for a minute. Really like the light that comes in. This right here is where the garage would be. So whenever I walk past here, just know that that's the garage. Um, since it's a model home, that's the sales center. Okay, I want you to see and this is why I don't have the camera on me right now because I really want you to see what I see and the detail in the ceiling. There are three chandeliers just in the foyer, the entryway. So very, very beautiful. All right, now we've got the laundry room. Okay, here is just a closet right off the laundry room. Okay. And across here, here is going to be, here's where your study is going to be, okay? Ignore all this, it is a model home, okay? Look how tall the windows are, and once again, the black encased windows. So nice study, it's light and bright, so when you're working here during the day, you can close these doors, you have privacy, you have silence, but you've also got a lot of light this foyer is very wide, this entryway. I can just picture at Christmas time, 
I would put a couple of trees, but that's just me. <laughs> and the floors here, I want to point out the floors. They are engineered hardwood floors. Okay, here's the media room. So I said it was four bedroom, three bathroom with a study and a media room. So as you can see here, here's a media room. There are doors. Well, there will be doors in the model home that you should take them off, but there will be doors right there. All right, let's see what's off the media room. Okay, so now we're headed to our kitchen. What I like about this area, it's right off the media room, is this right here. So what a great space to have um, snack. You could even have some popcorn here. You've got your pantry here. So that's right off the media room as well. I think that's a great design. Okay, let's head into one of my favorite areas of any house is going to be the heart of the home, the kitchen, the living room, the breakfast area. Okay, here we go. So the tile the backsplash here goes all the way up behind the vent hood to the ceiling the cabinets are tall i know for myself i would definitely need a stool or a ladder to reach them because they are very tall um you've got a very good size island here with four bar stools plenty of space for breakfast for entertaining while you're cooking your friends can be sitting there maybe you have some wine and a charcuterie board there this neighborhood is gas so you will have a gas stove which is usually preferred by most chefs i know i definitely prefer it here's a farm style sink i like that it's one um, sink there's no divider there and then you have this industrial size faucet very nice touch Sh uh, shaker style cabinets and you could add some hardware there and that would really give it an elevated look so in this home the breakfast area is off to the side it's not stacked by the island which i like this that it's off to the side rather than how some of them are going to be right here and then you have the living room this one is off to the side that is a very great space i mean there's eight people at that table um, so good size breakfast area there. Then we're entering into the living room. I like that the ceilings here are not too tall. Um, it just gives it a more cozy feeling. You know, here in Texas, it gets hot. It is a beautiful 80 degrees today, um, which is really nice, but it does get hot here. Um, so I'm a fan of the lower ceilings just so the air the cold air doesn't have as far to travel to get to you. And this is a great size living room you could even put something over here um, but what i like is you've got a sectional over here with chairs as well more windows and this area over here i like how they've got the two tables on the side so that's just a really nice touch you could even put bookshelves on the side if that's what you like a, a nice touch on the fireplace yes we do need fireplaces here in texas it does get cold and especially january and february it can get pretty cold it's not as cold as probably you know what most people are used to but it does get a little chilly and it is nice to have a fireplace because here in texas we aren't used to being cold we prefer to be a little bit warm so here is the view of the front door from where i am in the living room so i mentioned that pecan square is a master plan community i do have a video on pecan square that explains all of that so make sure you go back and take a look at that because a lot of people are drawn to pecan square because of everything that it offers all the amenities that it offers there are currently two uh, pretty large size pools here one with a splash pad they are going to be putting in a third pool that will be four thousand square feet it will be a lap pool there is an arena here a really big arena where they host um, farmers markets events uh, there's pickleball there you can even host something there they've had uh, people have hosted weddings in there before um, you've got Jackson Hall which is just kind of a gathering space uh, you could say it's got a gym inside of it a place where you can read a book there's even um, if you're homeschooling there's a great space in Jackson Hall that you can do some of that there. There is uh, another place that is co-working space. So if you work from home, um, most of these homes are probably going to have a home office, but sometimes you just got to get out of the house. If you're like me, you get distracted and you just got to get out of the house. Um, there's a great uh, space here for that where you can work just by yourself. Like I said, they also have co-working space there. One thing um, that's really unique also about Pecan Square is they have an event coordinator, an on-site event coordinator here. And they have events pretty much daily for both children, adults, and families. And oftentimes they have food trucks that come out here as well. I know at Christmas, they have a Christmas tree lighting festival. 
Um, there's just a lot um, that's offered here in Pecan Square. They just opened up an elementary school this year. There are more schools coming here. There's also a dog park. Pecan Square was just made for community and connection. And you definitely, as soon as you drive in here, you really get a sense of that. Um, and just also the way the homes are built, the fact that, and we'll go in the backyard in a little bit, the backyards are not going to be very big because everything that you need as far as entertainment, things for your family, things for your kids, I mean, even if you don't have kids, we have a couple clients that live here that don't have kids and they love it, it's all here. You can meet with your friends here in a lot of the spaces that they offer. There's a park uh, for kids to play in and so there's just really a lot here. For now, let's go ahead and take a look at the master bedroom. So we are headed in there now. Okay, so here is this light and bright master bedroom. I love the windows that lets just all this light in, the back wall. Once again, I'm a huge fan of wallpaper. Um, so I like that they put that wallpaper back there. You've got a king size bed in this room with two good size nightstands. So plenty, plenty of space. Then you also have room in here for a dresser and even a little chair over there. Okay, the bathroom. I love this bathroom, you guys. This one uh, is really pretty. The accented tile on the floor is a really nice touch. You know, it's a small space um, considering the rest of your house, so why not go a little crazy or a little funky with the tile? I like that idea. Um, when it comes to bathtubs, I'm a huge fan of a standalone tub. I think they're sleek. I think they look really nice. I am a huge fan of it. So that's what they've done here. This one is dual vanities. So you get your own space, which is really nice as well. So uh, I like that. The shower is a really good size and I'll turn my camera around here in a minute and I'm gonna take you back through so you can see everything. And then you have a linen closet over here. The toilet room has a door, always nice. And then you've got your walk-in closet, which this walk-in closet is fairly long. Okay, let's start back in the living room so we can head to the master bedroom. And one thing I wanted to talk about was this is one of three single story floor plans, okay? And they start around the 630s. So one thing that is also nice about this builder is you do get to go to the design center and pick out a couple of things, maybe your floors, backsplash. So, you know, I say they start out in the 630s because whenever you have a home where you get to go to the design center, the things that you choose, that's going to determine the price. There are other builders where everything is determined for you. You do not get to choose anything. And so the price is what the price is. But homes um, like these, you do get to pick out a few things. So that is going to change the price of the home. Things like this tile, the carpet, the backsplash. Um, you cannot move walls around. That is one thing that you cannot do that. But you do get to go to the design center and make the house your own. And I just wanted to show you one more time what the living room and the kitchen looks like from this angle, just to show you how spacious it is, how open, how light and bright it is before we head outside to the backyard. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so once again, we've got a nice covered patio, which is a really nice thing to have here in Texas because it does get hot. And here is our backyard. This. Ignore some of this right here. <laughs> so here's a backyard here. Like I said, uh, a lot of the backyards, they're just not going to be very large because you've got other amenities in the neighborhood, pools, parks, and things like that. But I just wanted you to see the backyard the brick. So very well built. I also like that the outside of the windows are black and that just gives it a little bit of a different look, a little bit more elevated look. And one thing I did want to mention that anytime you are looking at new construction, make sure you take your realtor with you the very first time you visit a model home. It's very important because oftentimes when you don't do that, uh, they might not allow you to be represented by a realtor. And just remember, um, we love builders. We love new construction. These homes are absolutely beautiful. But the contract is um, bill, you know, is builder sided. It is to protect the builder, and the sales rep, the builder, they're looking out for the company that they work for. You need someone on your side. You need someone in your corner. You need someone representing you. So, we always just caution that and advise that anytime you want to tour a model home, 
that you make sure that your realtor is with you. All right, so there you have it. Another beautiful model home here in the master plan community of Pecan Square, which is right off I-35, a suburb of Dallas and Fort Worth. And like I mentioned earlier, I've got another video that explains Pecan Square. So make sure you go back and take a look at that. We put out videos every week, so we hope to see you on the next one.